guys think? It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, bad, it was just, um, when we, when we said make a video, we were expecting a video, not a, a PowerPoint presentation. Oh, but don't, don't take it personal. Don't take it personal, Ben, it's okay. It's just a little bit of a bozo at this kind of thing. A bo- a bo- Do your own damn video, then! I spent many of my own hours on this, and then you rip it all from me! I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to do it. Uh, you do it. Down. You're fine. So, what do we do now? I've got just the thing. Where, where are you going? Boys, we're finally here. The end of the road. So many great memories to look back on. You know what? Speaking of memories, let's go have a look at some now. Our oh, favourite memory would have to be the basketball game versus San Francisco. That was a lot of fun. It was a really good community event. It was. It's just great to get both schools together and I was lucky enough to take the tour for a little bit, even though I might not have put in the pockets. Harry, probably chasing Trent out of the classroom, running down Shortle, um, down the steps, and just, I've never heard the squeal that came out of Harry before. And then when he came back very quickly and he went, it's okay, it's okay, it's all right. I went, where's Trent? And, um, he went, oh, he'll be back. He'll be back in like five, ten minutes. He had to go to the bathroom, so I wanted to make sure he got there as quickly as possible. I took a couple of your cohort to Europe with Father Michael and Mr. Harvey and on a ferry to Iona, the island, Matt Caldwell packed ice cream in his backpack and eventually it melted from the heat of his body through his backpack and we had to clean that whilst on a ferry between mainland Scotland and a small island. I have some great memories of a group of boys in drama club when they were in grade seven or eight, I think they might have been, um, putting a pie in Josh White's face is a, is a pretty clear memory. And I have lots of lovely, lovely memories in the production um, over the years and this year's production in particular and also in year 12 drama. Probably. And I think a lot of my answers might stray towards my rugby team when they were year eight, nine, ten, so just behind you at the pen and so when they won the premiership. I think when we beat Lorries on you were year nine, because they beat us when you were year eight and we played them again in year nine and we beat them in the grand final. We didn't just beat them, we absolutely handled them. And um, in year eight, lots of the boys were crying after the defeat and that was horrible. Like I remember that, that was, that was one of my worst memories when we lost the premiership in the final and then 12 months later when we turned it around and sort of did it. That was awesome. That's our highlight. That's awesome. Probably the year 10 wilderness camp. Probably year 10 camp. A wilderness camp in year 10. We've had great camps. Spending four nights with tents and bad showers and bad food. It still turned out to be like one of the best experiences out of my time in Ireland. I got uh, bitten by a spider. My uh, nameless spider came back for a bit. I refused to go home, even though we went to hospital for a spider bite. My favourite memory at Iona would be coming second in theatre sports. A narrow loss. Oh, you'd have to say when Cullen Porthill decided to be a good idea to use the um, goal pucks on Main Oval as a chin up bar. As he was doing his chin ups, the Tops of the goals were like almost touching, and then Rick Milato screams, Oi! Idiot! Get back here! And then he proceeds to just tear a new one in front of every single person in our class, and we're all in stitches. Probably this year, getting to know people that I never spoken to before and become friends with them. Oh, I'd have to be staff first student chess, just all the boys getting around the chess. Pretty good. Fitting 12, grade 12s. 
<laughs> on a grade five table <laughs> meant for eight grade fives and having people sitting in each other's laps. It would probably be when I ran to the wall and all the boys rallied together and helped me pay back the $300 wall, which definitely wasn't spent on the wall. It was a weekend job. Probably when Clark Thomas ran through Mr. Phillips' wall because people dared him to do it. And then there was a big hole in the wall and he was blowing up, so that was a funny one. Probably when Michael, it was when Darius jumped off the, the building over there because people told him. Because people told him to do it. <laughs> And he stacked it down the bottom. Oh, I've got another one. When he slipped and slided through on the cricket fields before the um, first cricket game because people again told him to. That's pretty funny. Favourite memory? Uh, I reckon I'd have to say walking down the steps at Old Boys Day. Probably walking back up those steps at Old Boys Day. Hitting Harry Lane with my car. Sean Mendes. The one time I tried to scrap Cooper. Um, crying in year five when I didn't get my diary signed because that was the first time I've like not done homework and swag. Probably running across the road with a in my hand you know, and come back at my mum's car because I thought she was leaving me at school. Mm, probably that one. Assemblies. At the end of assembly, when Tom and I used to go up, we took it in turns, it said prayer. And we used to wait while the IT people put the prayer up. Um, so one of the times, I was literally just waiting for 10, 20 seconds for the IT people. And then I just to start. So I was Heavenly Father, and, and they just didn't do anything. So I, we just sat there for a little while. That was, that was pretty embarrassing. Um, I can't get much lower than that, I don't think. Once again, I go back to year 10 wilderness camp. I have no clue why or how, and I don't want to know why or how, but during some person's showers, <laughs> somebody's underwear was thrown out and landed right by my feet, and I was terrified. I was terrified. And it was sopping wet too. <laughs> like, they definitely either A, had gone into the showers fully clothed, or B, just, I don't even know why they would leave it on the ground, but they just left their underwear on the ground, or worse, it was someone else's underwear. I don't want to know. I've had a lot of really good teachers, especially in my senior years, um, but I think uh, one teacher that's really helped me get, uh, get through this has been Miss Keane. Just really helping um, to promote creativity and just letting people be who they want to be. Oh, Mr. Saul. It's pretty pretty downgrading when he beats me in my own competition, but you know, that's okay. Got me through. Miss Campbell, Miss Campbell, Miss Tech. Yeah. They're just top class players. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, Miss Campbell just. Or, or Mr. Bates. You know. Just, he's just always been there for me. Mr. Tech. Mr. Mr. Tate, just him. Just him alone? No, you and lots of other people, of course. But I, I'm going to say Mr. Tate because he's just so good. He's a legend. There's been Brendan Morozzi, who's... He's, he, he's a man-child, but he has helped me get through and make Japanese enjoyable. There's been uh, Jimmy Cass, who calls me mother, which has also inspired me. There's been Mark the Shark, who's been up there and... Uh, you know, help me get there. He's, he's recognised me as a prefect, that's helped. Um, there's also Miss Stevens, who's put up with my crap all through grade 10. A lot of them have just been a great help to me. I'd say one in particular is Mrs. Pierce. Um, I've had her for four years, um, just like teaching me math and like, she's great, she's always fighting for us, trying to get us marks and like, trying to help us improve and yeah, she, she thinks of everyone very highly and I, I quite appreciate that. Mr. Holmes has been an incredible inspiration to me. Um, I remember back in grade 7 or 8, he first took us for religion class. He was a normal teacher, you know, he was a good teacher, but a normal teacher. And I didn't see him for like two or three years. And then suddenly every single time he walked past me, he would give me a fist pump. I hardly knew him, but he would still fist pump me every single time. It just made me feel seen on some days when I didn't feel seen. 
I'd say Mr. Collier for Year 12 and Year 11 Digital Solutions. He helps you all the time. Like when you're struggling with like coding components, I remember during at home learning I was struggling, like especially when we had an assignment due when we came back from at home learning. But like he still managed to like help the boys and like see what was happening. Uh, parents and also the boys. The boys. The boys. The legal obligation. The boys. The boys. Just gotta be the boys. Um, why do I come back to my own every day? What brings you back? I'd say it's just. I um, know there's some. The, some the bonds that come back with people. Something to and like they, they are. are they are your old boys. I don't know. Oh, there's I don't some, think going um, to be me. It's not too hard. Like, 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 it's home is where the heart is, I think. Um, and if you've got people in your heart, then. I guess you can make a home from that. Alcoholism? Uh, I reckon um, me and Eddie will have a very similar after I own a future. Um, having the best years of my life uh, in musical theatre. Probably trying to surf somewhere, failing, um, wasting a Saturdays playing cricket, um, and yeah, studying ministry, but yeah, who knows. This one's a hard one, probably in the mirror. <laughs> But like, I plan to go to uni definitely. I'm planning to go to like an IT path, probably in an engineering or information systems pathway with business. That's an interesting um, question. I mean, there's a lot of career paths I could go down. Lord forbid I become a politician. After I know, I mean, I'll probably just go to uni. Um, hopefully, I'm still seeing my friends. Once, yeah, I, I, I just want to go out and learn. Um, I do want to be a teacher, so I don't know. I, I might float around. Maybe I'll come back to Iona for like some uh, experience, teaching experience, yeah, before settling somewhere. Uh, I see myself working at um, helping people somehow. I see myself not working with things, but with people. Honestly. Just listening to what some of the boys have said to me recently is remember what you've had because it's very easy to forget, I promise you. Remember what you've had and then also be able and willing to give those opportunities to other people in the future. Repetition calluses the mind, so if you do things over and over, you'll get good at it and that's in any aspect of your life, so take that with you when you, go, when you leave Iana. Take advantage of the brotherhood that you have and um, whilst at the moment you may not recognise that another classmate has talents and strengths yet, you can't see that yet, when you're in the workforce one day you may realise that um, one of the guys you went to school with has a talent that you can leverage off for your own work or propel you into an area or a field of work that um, could be really powerful and I, I would say to you, you know, be, stay in touch with your friends and whether that's just a Facebook group um, or a you know, Snapchat streak that goes for the next 20 years. Um, I was in school in the 90s and we didn't have those things, but we're still friends and I still am friends with friends from school. So I encourage you to keep in touch, use it, um, and never know when it might come in handy, the guys who you knew at Iona. No. No. No, I can't. They always have an eyeliner, that's for sure. Isn't that someone with a raven? A goth is a person with um, a darker sense in uh, fashion choice. I think Kelvin's a goth. Like, what, full black hair and like black nails and all that sort of stuff, isn't it? But oh, the like wicked, the like safety pin earrings. You know, like, you know the ones I'm talking about? <laughs> Dark, black, weird. Yeah, that's all I got. A goth. A goth. What's a goth? Oh, that, that, that question. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. A goth is, wait, I can remember it, I can remember it, I can remember it. A goth is somebody who is interested and inspired by a particular cultural phenomenon and celebrates and enjoys darker art and um, 
and alternative elements of society. And really heavy metal. <laughs> Uh, how was Confro? Like summarise, like how, how did Confro go for you? <laughs> it was going well. It was going well. Lost the game and the. Visit Boston. Visit Boston, bro. Visit Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this eight years. It's been a hell of a journey. Kia kaha. Oh. Oh.